Hi, my name is Gabriela Martinez. I am from Tegucigalpa, Honduras, and this is my third year as a PhD student working under the direction of Dr. Eric Van Houten. I have a BS in animal science and agricultural production from Zamorano. And after I graduated, I had the opportunity to participate on internship programs that involved both aspects, swine production, particularly in South Farm and swine research. This motivated me to continue with my education and I was admitted into my master program. And subsequently, I decided to continue with a PhD program as I realized that I really enjoyed doing research. And I felt I needed to gain more experience and knowledge to be able to combine them in the world of sign industry. My research is focused on maternal nutrition, specifically the transition period from gestation to early lactation. I am using fermentable fiber as a nutrition strategy to help the sow cope with the change in metabolism that liver growth and the farming process represent. Fiber increases satiety for the sow, which is an important welfare issue, as sows are not fed at libitum during gestation. At the same time, it provides energy in the form of short-chain fatty acids, which have shown to provide health benefits for the sow and the litter. Although the transition period is rather short, it is exactly in this period where both nutritional management and farm management practices are reflected and where a wisely applied nutrition strategy can cause the greatest impact in reducing the number of stillborns, improving piglet vigor, and improve sow performance during lactation. This could have a great impact in the swine industry as piglet mortality is something that we could manage or manipulate into our favor during early stages of lactation. Fiber is a complex ingredient. It is one of the most challenging for us to understand and the one that has drawn attention from both animal and human nutrition in the recent years. Today, we know how we can measure the fiber content in the feed through analysis of NDF, ADF, and total dietary fiber. But we have also learned that fiber can be soluble, insoluble, and depending on the source, it can be fermentable. And it is through fermentation that we can obtain short-chain fatty acids that provides benefits on intestinal health besides energy. Yet with fiber, there is still a lot of shades of gray as we are still learning how to implement it in our production system. If we understand the characteristics of fiber fermentation, this will allow for the strategic application of fiber in cells. Our lab is contributing to clarify the fermentation characteristics of different fiber sources. We performed an in vitro analysis with eight purified fiber sources that was presented during Midwest recently. As a summary, we found that all fiber sources were different in their metabolite production. For instance, beta-glucan had the highest concentration of total short-chain fatty acids, followed by resistant starch and potato starch whereas pectin had the lowest pH among other sources and was highest for cellulose and inulin native. Our next goal is to take these findings and implement them in a commercial scenario. We still are in a learning phase as to which is the ideal fiber profile. There are other factors that need to be considered in the equation, such as microbiota and gut environment, so that fiber can fulfill its function. Maternal nutrition is receiving more attention from the scientific community and from the swine industry. And I would like to be part in developing new nutritional alternatives to help the lactating sow to obtain the nutrients she needs in order to help her piglets develop properly and to get quality litters at fairing. This will help producers to be efficient and responsible. And this is my goal after I finish my program. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or if you want to learn more about our work, here is my contact information. Feel free to contact me. Thank you.